Okay, welcome back. Uh, and uh, in this video, we're going to talk about the particular um, uh, cabin component here called the uh, electronic speed control. ESC stands for electronic speed control. And it's what controls how much voltage uh, goes from the battery into the motor. And that is controlled via the um, wire that runs first off through the switch and uh, from the ESC, this, uh, this uh, part of the ESC right here, it's got a little magnet donut on it, goes through the switch and then into the um, first, actually the second um, port of the receiver called the throttle. Okay, and the, the, the orange, red, and sort of a brown wire here uh, the orange is a signal wire telling how much how much the throttle has been moved and the red and the brown is red is hot voltage 5 volts and the brown is the negative <clears throat> so that's actually what powers the the entire receiver all the power of the receiver goes through that um, and powers all the servos in the airplane so the the ESC is doing two functions, putting power to the motor, controlled by the throttle, and powering all the components of the, both the receiver and all the servos. Now, one thing about this um, uh, ESC, as you'll see here, it's moving around way too much. And I can see that there was some glue on this, and that glue seems to have broken loose. Okay. So what I'm going to do is, I'm, I'm, I've decided not to glue it, but I'm going to have it move uh, quite a bit forward like this. So I'm going to uh, hold it in place. I'm going to take a tie wrap, one of these. Let me zoom in a little closer so you can see what I'm doing here. Okay, so you can see that this thing is moving back and forth too much. I'm going to push it forward like this, take this tie wrap, and tie it so that the um, it'll be held on the back and on the front um, by the uh, through this plastic piece here by that plastic piece I mean and that will allow this push rod here to move freely to control the nose wheel steering so um, I'm gonna hold it forward like that put this on I'll be right back Okay, I'm back and uh, I've got the zip tie in place. I did take care to make sure that this uh, antenna wire was out of the way before I put the zip tie in. Zip tie is in place, so I'm going to go ahead and cut the uh, end of, of it off. A pair of cutters. Okay. Let me zoom in and show you exactly what that looks like. Okay. Okay, so right here is the beginning of the zip tie and it's holding it in place goes underneath the the ESC and on top of this white plastic part holding the ESC in place notice over here you'll see that the the ESC is all the way forward and uh, then the zip tie came through the the connector for the zip tie and cut off there so now this thing won't move at all okay and there's plenty of room for this bend goes underneath the ESC down to the um, nose wheel to uh, move freely without getting um, uh, knocked around by anything. <clears throat> okay, so that's uh, uh, zip ties in place. ESC is secured, not moving around. I did add some tape um, right here. Um, I added some tape right here to hold that part of the switch down and uh, it'll uh, stay there nice and secure. Also made sure that the uh, antenna um, was free when I put the zip tie in. Okay, thank you for watching. Stay tuned for the next video.